I just had a moment of true sadness thinking about when we have to leave this place. <laughs> Hi, we're Mike and Steph. Earlier in 2021, we quit our jobs and started our year of traveling around the world. So far, we've been to Mexico and Guatemala, and we've ticked off 10 national parks and a road trip around the US. Now, we're leaving Western Shores for new adventures in Thailand. Next up, Chiang Mai. Don't feel so good after drinking with our new friends in Phuket last night. But we are here in Chiang Mai Airport. No, we're in Phuket Airport. <laughs> we are here in Phuket Airport. <laughs> Don't feel I'll so good. <laughs> you take, you take. I'll take it. I'll take it. Good morning. I'm feeling great, so <laughs> we'll just let him sit here. I've sorted him out, got him some, got him some chicken nuggets. Your attention please, I'm Kosha Pandu. This morning uh, we got our bright and early uh, to catch a flight to Chiang Mai and yeah we're gonna stay like 10 days in Chiang Mai very excited never been he has been he loves it so the airport situation here has been very easy it was lovely we didn't even have to like show anything apart from passports so domestic travel very good where is he Chiang Mai will be interesting because it only just opened a week ago um, it, the borders kind of into that province were shut so we'll see how it goes. We are in Chiang Mai, yep. and it's beautiful and we really love it and we've already made several friends. We've got Bo, our taxi driver, who's now going to be our personal taxi driver, and all the lovely people at this hotel. Everyone here is so happy and lovely and also just really excited that tourists are coming back into Chiang Mai, which is lovely to see. Before we show you this incredible room, uh, first up we have a very funny little package here for our flight with Air Asia. Uh, we booked direct through their website and there's just like a little box thing where it's like would you like food during the flight if yes tick you know which options and they gave us all these options so we just you know ticked some things and went on our way during the flight they just came up directly to us and said mike and steph and we're like yep yeah. <laughs> and they were like oh you ordered food we're like yes yes we did um and they're like here here here's your food but you're not allowed to eat it on the on the plane. We weren't allowed to like drink out of our water bottles or anything. We were not allowed to to remove the mask at any point. So they were like, "We're going to put this here for you, and you can eat it when you're off the plane." <laughs> so here it is. So, <laughs> so here we go. They warmed it up for us, <laughs> and then gave it to us in a little package. There we go. Aww. Not the finest way to start Chiang Mai cuisine, but. Hmm. Oh my god, that rice is so good. Even the airline food is good in Thailand. It's been so amazing everywhere we've gone. Even the, the takeaway airline food. Takeaway airline food. <laughs> Never done that before. <laughs> anyway, room tour time. Welcome to Chiang Mai and to the best hotel ever. <laughs> I know I say this a lot, but this one really is special. We're staying at the Buri Gallery Hotel. It's a really small little hotel in the middle of Old City. I think they only have about 10 rooms, so it's really cute and intimate. And we got upgraded. So we we're chatting to the lady who owns it, who's so nice. And then she found out it was my first time in Chiang Mai and that we love, you love Chiang Mai. And then she was like, we're gonna upgrade you. Ready? <laughs> Come on in. I think the attention to detail and like the decoration here is probably the best that we've experienced. I'm very hot in this, can I take it off? 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pride of place, we've got the bed. Beautiful. With little, little elephant friends. Got a lovely desk. I'm going to be editing away. A fantastic coffee station. And look at how cool the mugs are. <laughs> <laughs> we've got a chaiselon. space, art, and then the bathroom. Ooh, how beautiful the tile though. And we've got a bath and a shower. Really bloody living the luxury life in town, aren't we? This place is like legitimately cheap. Oh yeah. Let's talk numbers, shall we? We paid 26 pounds a night. Very important update, because we just checked. This place is actually £21 a night. 21 Bed test today or no because of the beautiful little elephants? Oh, I'll do, I'll jump in between the elephants. No! <laughs> you fixed it. <laughs> so, as Steph said, we are here for about 10 days. Really excited. I was here seven years ago with some friends. This is Steph's first time. We're hoping that things are open. We've heard from the taxi driver and a few people that um, things like the night market, which is one of the best things to do here, are closed at the moment. So we'll give you a bit of a view about what you can do in Chiang Mai during COVID. I just had a moment of true sadness thinking about when we have to leave this place. <laughs> <laughs> no, I never want to leave Chiang Mai again. I haven't seen it yet. No, no. <laughs> She's happy. That's a little quarter where I sleep. That's the three quarters where she sleeps. Ready <laughs> for a day in Chiang Mai? Yeah. Yay. <laughs> breakfast first. Yeah, breakfast first. So, we're having breakfast in the hotel. Very cute. Um, and we've got lots of planning to do. Steph the tour guide might be making an appearance. route of the old city and then walk all around it see many a fun thing which means the return of Steffi the tour guide bum, 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 bum. okay here we go First stop is Wat Phrae Sing, which is literally 100 meters away from our hotel. Before we get started, uh, let's just take a moment to appreciate the trousers. Aren't they amazing? Last night, um, we went by a shop called By Design, which literally opened again three days ago. The lady was so lovely. She actually made these herself, completely from scratch, her design. I love them so much. Anyway, let's go check out this fantastic temple. Alright, there you go. That is uh, Wat Phra Singh. Absolutely incredible. Especially considering that this was built in the 14th century. So old. The upkeep is incredible what they're doing. So, yeah, that's it. That's the only fact. On to the next one. All right, so we are in the north of the city now on a bridge. We've got two temples on either side. We've got 
What Roger Montine on one, and we've got What Lock Mean on the other. Absolutely incredible. I can't, like this one, breath shooketh, no? Breathtaking? Breath. Core is shooketh. Yes, the core is shooketh. No, your core is shooketh. No, no, the whole core of worlds, of human beings. <laughs> My core is shooketh by the ridiculous, incredible design and craftsmanship and beauty. I, can't, I just can't believe it. And also look at the lovely lanterns. a lot of temples in this tour uh, because Chiang Mai is home to literally hundreds of Buddhist temples. Quick note on the whole moat situation. So Chiang Mai was a fortified city back in the day when it had to defend itself against Mongol uh, attacks. So what we're going to do next is walk along the moat and go see there are still some of the big gates and kind of crumbling city walls that still exist along the outside of the old city. Okay, another temple. Ooh. Uh, this one is actually the first ever royal temple built in Chiang Mai from t like the 13th century. Crazy. Yeah, and it's called Chiang Man. So there's a Buddha statue in there that's two and a half thousand years old. That's crazy. Right, onwards. So, reality check on what Chiang Mai is like right now. Um, there have been loads of tuk-tuk drivers who've seen us walking around who've offered us, you know, rides on the city, which we don't really want to do today because we're just walking. But it's very sad because they say, you know, we haven't had any business in three days or for a long time because of COVID. If you look around, you can just see a lot of places are still completely closed. There's a Indian restaurant here that we were hoping to go to that is currently looking like that. So. It's not all fun here. There is, you know, a lot of recovering economy happening right now. All of that together is why we actually are happy that we're here. We are literally some of the first tourists back in Chiang Mai and people are so grateful to see us and we're really happy to spend money where we can and help people locally. Anyway, back to Steffi's tour. Three Kings Monument. These three boys are the uh, founding fathers of Chiang Mai. And I'm not going to try and pronounce their names. I did look it up. I'm not going to dishonor the Thai language by, by trying. Also, very excitingly, we are here during the Lantern Festival, the Yi Peng Festival, which we thought was just the one day on the 19th of November. It's actually for the whole week. So everywhere we go, you just see these absolutely beautiful lantern displays. We'll show you it at night as well because it's gorgeous. Okay, we're all the way in the east now at Taipei Gate, which is the most... It's one of the most intact gates of the old uh, fortified city. And incredibly hot and very hungry and tired. So Steffi, the tour guide, will have to sit down and be munching on some lunch very soon. So let's hope the next shot you see will be me eating. No, we need to go and film this gate and stuff. Ah, who cares about We're going through there anyway. Uh -huh. so there's no effort, it's no effort on fun. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Steffi the tour guide is not eating lunch. <laughs> She's at another temple. <laughs> um, I've had a discussion with my producer and um, he made a deal with me that we would go to one. We only had one left, so we thought we'd get that done with and then we'd have lunch. We are at Wat Chedi Luang. <laughs> So, now, the next time you're going to be seeing me, I'm going to be eating lunch. Bye! So, 
in my anger, um, I walked straight into the first temple I saw. Actually, that the one you just saw was not Wat Chedi Luang. It was the one next to it. This one is Wat Chedi Luang. <laughs> so there we go. We are now at the final huge big temple. Enjoy. This is actually is, is a very good temple to see. Very, very impressive. Really like the, the really old one. Very actually worth it. I'm glad that we actually got here in the end. <laughs> now, <laughs> for the love of everything that's good in this world. So you see me click my fingers, I'm gonna be eating. Yay, it's finally happened. We're at a noodle place. I've got yellow noodles and beef. Mike's got some jade noodles. Very exciting. So this place is absolutely amazing. It's called Rod Yam in the Liman district, which is very cool. It's like the shortage of Chiang Mai. My jade noodles, obviously a bit of a gimmick, a bit of mid and green, but they are beautiful. The beef is like melting your mouth delicious. We uh, may have ordered another plate of chicken because it was so good. <laughs> Bye! Bye. Lunch was delicious. Uh, we are in the Niman area. We got a tuk-tuk over to here because we heard that it's really fun for shops and food. We can confirm that it's good for both. There's loads of fun little like boutique-y kind of stalls and things. And I think this concludes the tour for now. Steffi the tour guide might come out later at some point as well. Bye. Ah, who cares about We're going through there anyway. Ah. There's no effort, it's no effort. It's all fun.